Hello, I'm Tim Krull. Welcome to Norwich City Central. It's done. Yes, Mr. Frodo. It's over now. We've made it, guys. We have made it. It's over. It's done. It's done with Norwich City's Premier League campaign is over. Manchester City 5, Norwich City 0. Norwich City go down with a thrashing, as you probably would expect, coming up against a team with Manchester City's quality. And yeah, Norwich City are down. It's their worst ever season in their history in terms of points tally. And thank God it's all over with. Hello guys, Lewis, Norris City Central. I hope you're all doing well. I'd love to hear your thoughts down below in the comment section. And quickly before I get into the review, review I want to say thank you for all the support this season. I think I've done a match review, match reaction for pretty much all the games this season. It's been an absolute roller coaster, starting so well and then plummeting into quite a horrible roller coaster ride. I want to thank everyone for all your support on the channel. And yeah, I've done a lot of these match reactions and to have your guys' consistent support with, you know, likes and comments, I really do appreciate it. So thank you for all the support on the channel. Um, I have got a Kofi page. A lot of um, YouTube creators and other people are doing it after kind of the virus hit. And um, if you do want to make a one-off donation for just the price of a coffee, three pounds, and um, please feel free to do so. It would really help with the channel and I would really appreciate the support. I will leave the link to that in the description. Let's get to the game though. And yeah, it's been an absolute roller coaster and it's done. Thank God for that. Um, Manchester City 5-0. It was an absolute torrid game for Norwich City, as you would expect. Um, but I'm not too disappointed. You kind of, you know, so many good teams, you know, teams much better than us have been thrashed by Manchester City. So it's no surprise we have lost 5-0. The real frustration for me is obviously, you know, our 3-0 loss after the lockdown against um, Southampton and 4-0 loss to West Ham. That's where the frustration really lies with Norwich City were second best by miles. Um, it's been an absolute horrible season and questions need to be asked. You know, you can have blame towards VAR and injuries, but ultimately it's all down to ourselves. Poor tactics, not enough recruitment. And, you know, there's many reasons why Norwich City have gone down. I'd love to hear your thoughts down below. But Manchester City deserve to win. That They swept us aside, although Norwich City had some really good chances. Um, let's get into the game now. Actually, before we get into the game, obviously it was the last game of the Premier League season and some very interesting scorelines. The teams who are going down with us are Watford and Bournemouth. Watford lost 3-2 to Arsenal, although did, did, did a come, almost came back from it after being 3 all down. And Bournemouth beat... Everton 3-1, so Bournemouth and Watford are going down after Aston Villa managed to get a point against West Ham. And you'd probably say Aston Villa, with the money they've got, it's probably better that they stay in the Premier League for Norwich's sake. And with the fact that you've got you know, Bournemouth and Watford going down, who might lose their managers, but Watford already have. Leeds going up and, and whatnot. You you feel like with, with the teams and the quality, Norwich City have got a real good chance of getting out of the Championship next season if they rebuild in the summer, which is absolutely vital. But yeah, getting into the game... And it started so well, I was almost shocked to see the, to see the TV when it was Manchester City nil Norwich 1. It was absolutely incredible. Ono Hernandez with one, a fantastic goal, really. A beautiful ball, uses his pace in behind him, 25 yards out, unleashes a fantastic shot into the bottom right-hand corner. But wait, let's get the magical VAR out. Ono Hernandez is about half a yard offside and the goal um, doesn't stand. And that's absolutely heartbreaking. And... Just football so soulless at the moment. You look, there's no fans. You're getting VAR decisions coming out. And yes, VAR do get the right decision, but it's a very close call. And football's just so soulless without fans. And, and that's why, you know, when you consider what would you prefer, Norwich City winning the league with fans or getting relegated, you know, without. Of course, you'd much rather be in the stadium watching Norwich City win the league as opposed to watching us getting relegated. And let's hope next season fans will be in the gr in the crowd and we can watch another magical season. But yeah... Without fans and with VAR, it's solar. So hopefully in the championship, things will be a, a lot a lot better in that respect. Um, but then Manchester City pretty much scored straight after. It's Raheem Sterling getting in behind across to David Silva, who played his last game for Manchester City, an absolute great. And uh, Gabriel Jesus manages to poke it home after the 11th minute. And um, yeah, Manchester City started well, but Norwich City did have some really good chances in this game. And I would have loved, you know, well, not loved, obviously, but I would have taken a 6-0, six, 7-0 six nil, loss if it meant that Norwich City could get a goal you know say if Man it if it did Man City 6 Norwich 1 Man City 7 Norwich 1 I would have taken that just to see Timmy Pukki get a goal because Pukki's someone who we really need to get his confidence up he goes one-on-one -on -one, he should be scoring you know in the championship that was his bread and butter scoring goals and he just it's a really weak shot straight at Edison and Club Campbell puts the shot over and that's the thing with Pukki you know, there's been some clubs who are potentially interested in him and, and, and you know, there's going to be question marks whether Timmy Pukki actually stays at Norwich City next season. Um, 
it's a real tough one. I, I still want to see Team Ipuki playing in Norris's shirt. I'm sure he'll be able to do well in the championship again, but his confidence is absolutely gone. And uh, you do really feel like someone like Adam Eder could potentially take his place. But I still like Puki, but his confidence is gone. I'd love to hear your thoughts down below on the saga of Team Ipuki and what's gone wrong for him in 2020. Uh, Manchester City make it 2-0 just at half-time. Norwich City have scored so many goals in around you know that, that, that time period of the season. It's a beautiful goal by Kevin De Bruyne. And talk about being David Silva being a, a Manchester City and Premier League legend. If De Bruyne continues to replicate these performances you know, and, and stays at Man City for several years, he's going to be, in my opinion, the Premier League's greatest ever player. Beautiful goal. Marcus Schiefermann gets turned inside out, like a crab, some would say. Um, be nice to hopefully see him do the crab celebration next season and De Bruyne makes it 2-0 um, and then an amazing solo run for Ono Hernandez who Ono Hernandez was by far Norris City's best player really deserved a goal that, uh, did Ono Hernandez he was absolutely fantastic and his pace is going to be pivotal in the championship next season a beautiful solo run it would have been our goal of the season stepping inside three or four players it was Raheem Sterling better than Raheem Sterling um, he runs into the box one on one, but Edison makes a good save, and it's really harsh on O'Neill because he's deserved to go, and he's been one of our better players since lockdown. He's someone who's clearly up to the fight. Um, and you know, Norris did quite well. It was two 0 up until the 80th minute. We were defending really well. You know, players putting bodies on the line, and, and Norris City were defending well. We had a good shape. I thought Lucas Rupp in in the central midfield spot looks much better than that what he does on the right. But then Norris City unravelled in the last 10 minutes, and Manchester City. Um, kind of tore us apart. Kevin De Bruyne managed to equal the assist record in the Premier League with a beautiful through ball to Raheem Sterling to make it 3-0. And the fun didn't stop there for Norris City. Uh, Mahrez made it 4-0. Kenny McLean, silly from him. Um, Norris City overplayed quite a few times. Jamal Lewis was um, did it in an occasion in his box and Kenny McLean did it and then eventually we can see the goal from it. Um, overplaying, Mahrez nips in on 20 yards out and makes it 4-0. And then 5-0 Manchester City wrap it up. Kevin De Bruyne with a beautiful goal in off the post. And, and that sums it up. Manchester City win 5-0. Norwich City go down with an absolute whimper. And you look at teams like Bournemouth and Watford, they've gone down with a fight, you feel, and um, Norwich City haven't. Um, it's going to be an absolutely fascinating season next season, as we said. We, we, that, that championship season with Farka, the beautiful football we are playing, it was one of the most exciting seasons in Norwich City fans' history. This season has been one of the worst. It's our worst ever Premier League tally and our worst ever tally full stop. So it's been nothing short of a car crash. And you wonder going back down in the Championship with a lot of the same players, will they be up for the fight? You know, they gave everything to get us to the Premier League. They haven't given us everything in the Premier League. And you wonder if they go down, back, go back down to the Championship, are they going to be up for that fight again? Some of them will be. But as Tim Krull said, um, you know, we did a big rebuild here at Norwich City. And um, we're starting to do that with signings like Sorensen and Plaquetta. Uh, Plaquetta. I'll get the name right one day, Plaquetta. But yes, that is the end. Manchester City 5, Norwich City 0. It's over. We can sit back, relax, and now just think about the, the beautiful life of the Championship. Um, an absolute horrid season for Norwich City and thank god it's all over this is my match review I'd love to hear your thoughts down below Manchester City 5 Norwich City 0 it's over it's done